cooled off a bit. everyone and thanks for tuning in the channel so today we're on our way to the off-grid property so today's video is going to be not really different but just a little bit different so out there which I'm sure everywhere else there's a tick problem and if you don't know what a tick is I'll go google it there are these little creepy little crawlers that look like spiders that basically climb on you and suck your blood disgusting creepy did I say creepy and I don't like them so springtime and fall time, what we do is we set up, um, not little traps, but anyways, it's perithium. I always wonder if I'm saying it right, but uh, we're gonna go out there and uh, I'll show you what I mean. So he's going to unlock the gate. And the routine, we got the trailer, dropped off some sand. So I will show you what we're gonna do with the, I just posted a picture of the tick in case you didn't know what it was. So yeah, we're gonna show what we uh, do to help the tick population problem situation. <laughs> All right, so sunny out, which is great, but it's also cold. So I'm gonna have to switch two mitts. Probably my neck warmer. Probably there. Now I'm nice and cozy. All right. There's a little bit that stayed frozen in there. Okay. I might be a little bit too bundled up, but when we were here yesterday, I was freezing, but it was more of a damp cold because it was snowing where today is just drier. Anyways, it's cold, but not as cold. All right, so Derek is gonna get just a little bit of extra sand that is still stuck in the trailer. So yeah, so like I was saying with the perithium, what we do is we put it, we soak it, the perithium in cotton ball overnight so that it soaks it right up. And then we put it in uh, toilet paper rolls, you know, when you're done with it, those little the rolls, we put the cotton balls inside. So then what we do is we put those in just various sections under branches, trees so the way that it works is that the mice will take the cotton bring it back to their nest because it's a good nesting material the cotton ball and perithium actually kills ticks it doesn't harm the mice it doesn't do anything else to any anything else it only kills bugs right and ticks are hmm yeah little creepy little disgusting little creatures anyways so that is how we stop or minimize the tick population um so because obviously th throughout the winter the ticks will feed off the mice right in uh, their homes in their dens or whatever you want to call them this way we kind of eliminate the problem before it's a problem it's already a problem but I have noticed this past summer, we had hardly any. Like it was so much better. I remember back 
when we first bought the property, Derek would come home and there'd be like 10 of them on him. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, I'm itchy just thinking about it. So that is what we're going to do. You're going to take the skitter to do the trail cam? Yeah. All right. So today is skitter day to do the trail cam SD cards switch. All right. There's nothing fancy. You can just use whatever you got at home. I will put a picture of the Perithium right here. Yeah, so we had it soaked in here all night so that it's completely in the cotton ball. Because all you do is put them right in there and find a location for them. So around the camp right here, Everything is nice and sandy, so the tick is not here. They like tall grass, bushy area. So we're gonna set them more down there to keep pushing them further out, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, I, I guess I should probably mention that there are a lot of birds that do eliminate ticks. Um, we have a lot of partridge or grouse out here, so they're eating the tick as well. Um, ducks, obviously chickens and guinea hens and all that, but uh, other than that, yeah, birds do eat them. I just, I don't want them. I don't want ticks at all. And this area is just so many. So this is us doing our little extra, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Anything you want to add? Nope. I nailed it? Yep. All right. Go and set a couple back in the bush over here. Okay, set them in the bush? All right. So he's going to go set those further back there in the bush. And uh, yeah, and in the springtime, we'll come out and do it again. And we're just going to set them further out, further out. Because, did I mention I don't like ticks? They're creepy little buggers. Yeah, they suck your blood. Yuck, yuck. And as soon as you start thinking about it, you get all the itchy. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, so Derek is going to set those up. And then he's going to start the skitter do the trail cam SD card switch and I think that's it for today we didn't really have anything set up yeah It's a blue jay. It's hard to tell. Just a little bit too far. All right, on that note, I think we're gonna get things uh, put away, get things ready to go home, back to the farm, get chores there to do today. 
I hear Derek coming up with the skitter right now. It's kind of hard to miss it. That diesel engine is uh, the Detroit. She's loud. She purrs. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're a new viewer. So, yeah, that was it for today. I said I want to get that tick thing in motion because spring and fall, spring and fall, cannot wait. Has to get done. Those little creepy things. Those little ticks. Anyways, so hopefully we got some great footage on those. And uh, here, Derek. Oh, actually, I can see him now. Yeah. I think he has a little bit too much fun on that machine, but that's a good thing, right? All right. So once again, thank you for watching, everyone. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.